Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are gonna be doing Tiny Tina. If you're interested to see or maybe you already saw, I have no clue right now, please keep on watching. So I do really enjoy, I have no idea if you can hear me properly, my microphone is somewhere here. So I do really enjoy Borderlands and there was a wonderful DLC for the Borderlands 2 I believe that was um, Assault on Dragon King or something like that and about the tiny Tina uh, and her worlds basically. I think it's more of a Dungeon and Dragons take. Um, and after Borderlands 3, uh, right now in March actually, uh, the game was released called Tiny Tina Wonderlands. It's a separate game, uh, it's basically the same approach and I bought it and I really really like it because it's fantasy and it's wonderful and uh, characters are fun. <laughs> Queen Bat Stallion, like unicorn, that's kind of crazy. And instead of Dungeons and Dragons it's called uh, Bunkers and Badasses. Bad Badasses? Sorry for my pronunciation. But yeah, uh, and it's fun. And I decided that I want to make Tiny Tina's makeup because Borderlands characters are generally very interesting. And I'm gonna do only the upper part. I won't do the body paint per se. And I don't have a hat. I have a different type of hat, but not the witch hat. So unfortunately that's gonna be not here. But we're starting. And the start is with the plain face. I have my foundation on, but I don't have anything else. And from here, I will start to do the color blocking, the pa patches of color, and then the outlining, because that is how it's supposed to be done for such characters. And yeah, hopefully it will look good at the end. I have no idea yet, but maybe you already saw something. Um, I'm filming this all before actually editing. So yeah, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. So let's begin. My skin is dry, so I prefer to use cream products when it's about the contouring and blushing. Blushing specifically, I don't know. I'm just uh, lately obsessed with uh, cream blushes. So I added a bit of the contouring, so you can see. And I also added lenses because she has big blue eyes. Um, the cream blush I'm going to be using is this small one. This is from Rose Cheek Duo by Natasha Denona. It's actually 17 euros, so not that expensive, but really, really nice. And I do enjoy it very hard to show though because of those packaging and it's constantly in the fingerprints so I'm using just my fingers that's probably just me but so she has this type of blushing and that's what we are going to do of course for my face I prefer to have blushing more on the cheekbone like so but for the sake of doing Tina, we're bringing it all up as if you were burnt on the sun. You can add a bit more because that's what it is. You can use powder blush if you like it. Um, those slightly pink, very nice colors I find mostly in cream blushes. Oh, yeah, I just like it. She's uh, more of a kid, so it makes sense that she blushes like that and it's also making face a bit younger looking, so I really, really enjoy that. And then we have eyes. Um, it's not quite a dark shadows, but it's probably something a bit darker, so I'm gonna use the brown pencil and uh, brownish, greyish eyeshadow to do my eyes and then we will see. But as a base I'm gonna be using uh, Painterly 
it's a cream eyeshadow from MAC, Paint Pot, and I'm also using them not as a proper makeup artist would, because I use fingers a lot. This is just for the base, also to make the eye a bit more uniform in color. So, anyway, rolling on to the eyes. Her nose is more of a button and I want to contour it before going into the uh, patch like what is it band-aid purple one so her nose is more of a button type and it's a bit more white so the contouring will be on the bridges here going down it's the same brush which I used for the eyeshadow so absolutely same here on the other side so you kind of connect your inner side of the eye into the bridge of the nose then draw a line that actually goes further than just on the very top that way it's like mixing it a bit and the very bottom of the nose just cover completely including these little areas you see it became more small and more buttony and I need to use my contouring palette which is actually a good contouring palette the one that I used initially you can use any but it has a very nice colors like this so this is nice color I think it's called what is it called accentuate and what you do is you accentuate you can use the finger to make it lighter on the whole you need the whole thing and of course on the bridge that's how you change the nose now the patch for the patch I'm gonna be using <laughs> tons of stuff in here and uh, I'm just taking them because I didn't prepare beforehand I don't usually do that so you can use liquid lipstick if you have some you can use uh, watercolor palettes I think I have watercolor palettes that are better so this is a bit too purple this is very basic oh nice I see this color perfect now we're gonna use it as the color block spray right in there some small brush doesn't matter which one and draw a block that is it like literally you don't need more than that um, yeah so purple eyeshadow will match will be good um, if you have the other stuff then it's also good now probably it will be nice to have a liner and we can finally start outlining everything um, for lips. Maybe you want to add some pinkish, pinkish, pinkish something. And then it's also good. Pinkish something in my case is gonna be the lipstick. That's. Color blocking doesn't make sense to have in the very sturdy way so you can not bother it's just very very simple stuff now 
all the colors. But first I want to brush a bit of white into my eyebrows and then I will come back with the liner. So I made my eyes, uh, eyes eyebrows a bit whiter so I can draw on top of them the very thin line because she does have thin line but I would like to start with an eyeliner. She has big round eyes. I do have big round eyes so basically all I need to do is line them. I'm gonna be using pen or uh, liquid epic ink as the top and for everything else but a pencil for the lower line because it's easier. Now the pencil. You can use dark brown or black. I have both here. Um, as far as we have black in majority of things, I think black makes sense. And so... Lining. Lashes, wig, and I will be back. So this is my take on Tiny Tina, <laughs> even though I look like an adult Tina, which kind of makes sense, because I'm an adult. But anyway, this is quite a simple makeup. <laughs> I do enjoy this wig a lot. It's actually a wig for 2B that I made. Yeah, but I didn't use it yet. And 2B as a makeup doesn't have a lot of things in her looks. But... This is cool, I enjoy it, and hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Generally, I'm cool, I think so. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one, bye!